Hello, welcome to Easy Jeezy, Map and Me, Breezy. Now, I can't stay long because I've got to go and buy a frying pan. Okay, turns out they come in handy when you're trying to cook an omelette. Uh, but I'm going to be really quick and uh, get through this little quick guide on making map with symbols graduated by color this time. Okay, so we're back of our Petropolis sample points. Okay, in this case, we've done it already by size. Let's see how we can do it by color. So I'm going to right click on my sample points layer, go to properties, symbology, I'm going to click on single symbol and change to graduated. And in this case, let's do it by, uh, let's say, air pollution. Okay, air pollution. And in this case, our method of, we want color, we don't want size. Okay, again, I'm going to choose natural breaks. There we go. It's going to say, uh, it's going to say that we've start off the sort of lowest, the lowest scores are going to be white, high scores are going to be red. Let's click apply. And there you go. You can see over here how that immediately has changed our map. Okay. However, there are probably a few things we want to change uh, with this. Um, if you want to change the color ramp, you can choose a different color ramp. Now, in this case, I know that a score of one is actually uh, indicating worse pollution. So in this case, I may actually want to invert my color map. So the lower scores and hence the worst pollution receive a darker red. Okay, and that might actually make it a bit more meaningful uh, to our to our viewer. Okay, or you may simply wish to change the whole color ramp itself. Okay, and you can obviously choose that. You can edit the color ramp as well. If you click on it, you can change all the colors as you see fit. Okay, uh, another thing you may want to increase the size. Okay, of all the symbols, just so they're a bit easier to see. So again, click on the symbol button. Okay, we got the size over here. Let's just bump it up. Let's see how. Okay, just go five, apply. Okay, now uh, if you click on the symbol, you may want to adjust the transparency just a little bit as well, depending on how big the symbol is. Let's see how that looks there. Okay, that's looking pretty good at the moment. Again, you may want to trim, uh, click trim there or change the precision to reduce those decimal places when you're outputting your legend. And there you go. Okay, there's a beautiful map with the points graduated by color. Okay, hope this helps and I'll see you in another episode. See you later. Ciao.